Hi everybody, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Terry from Terry Jew Academy. Revision for Paper C 2022. Number one, Team A alone needed 36 days to finish a project. Team B and Team C each needed 48 days and 38 days respectively to finish the same project. Now, the three teams decided to work together, but Team B took a rest for a few days in between. The number of days Team A and Team C took was a whole number. How many days did Team B rest? Good morning. In question of this nature, we consider the project as one, okay? The rate, the rate of work for each team is therefore A uh, is one part in one day, right? Every, one part in one day. B is 1 over 48. C is 1 over 30. Okay, so now we need a common multiple. So the lowest common multiple therefore is 3 times 2 square times 3 times 5 times 4. Here is 60. Here is 12. So therefore the common multiple is 720. So I let A be the number of days be the number of day they be the number of days to complete right b be the number of days b be the number of days team b rest we can uh, we can write a equation to represent the question, which is one over thirty six a plus b plus c. Together they work a days, right? A days, but b took a few days off in between. So then they complete the project. Okay. <clears throat> so again, uh, the common multiple seven twenty. Uh, Thirty six times twenty equal to seven twenty. Forty eight times fifteen equal seven twenty. So on and so forth. Here should be 720, right? Change it to common multiple. Alright, so I want to get rid of the denominator, okay? Get rid of the denominator. 15 uh, by multiply 720, okay? The whole thing multiplied by 730 and 20. So minus uh, 15b equal to 720. Now we end up with a intermediate we end up with the indeterminate indeterminate equa uh, equation, right? Which means to say there are two unknown in one equation, okay? 
So, uh, the question say, uh, the number of days A, team A and team C took was a whole number, right? So, A and B could ho only be whole number. A, Oh, another way to say whole number is integer, right? So A and B are whole number. So we make an intelligent guess. A equal to 15, right? A equal to 15. Uh, B with 11, okay? Okay, number two. Evaluate. 3 over 2 over 5 plus 2 over 5 times 7 blah 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 plus 7 over 22 over 29 plus 1 over 29 so <coughs> we recall right recall recall the partial fraction if we have something n times a continuous number then we have n minus n plus 1 if we have uh, n times n minus a where a is the more than 1 then we have 1 over n minus 1 over n plus a but this will not give you the results of a unit fraction right Unit fraction means the denominator is 1, okay? Okay, denominator is 1. So, suppose we have 1 over 7 times 11, right? Then we have, uh, if we write as a partial fraction, we know, we know uh, the denominator it's not 1, okay? So, and we also realize the gap between 7 and 11 is 4. So, therefore, we need to fix the gap by multiplying 1 over the gap, okay? Alright, so understand this will give us a one-line solution in the question, okay? So the expression, or that means to say, the expression, that means to say the original question equal to, written as partial fraction, so I like to tell the student Happy day cancer, okay? Minus, plus, minus, plus, and they are all very happy. Minus, plus, minus. So we left with 1 over 2. Number 3. Find the number of shortest paths from A to B using movements of. Uh, rightward movement and upward movement only right so while working on shortest path right we think of pascal triangle what is a pascal triangle pascal triangle is one that have one at the outside right mm. so the number in between is the sum of two number immediate preceding it Okay, so this is called a Pascal Triangle. Uh, one of the earliest computer scientists, Pascal. So I'm going to write one over here, here, here and here. So wh who to add? Okay, since the arrow is going this side, so I add up this, I add up this number and this number, right? 
So one plus two equal to three. One plus two equal to three, right? One plus two equal to three. <coughs> three plus three equal to six. Okay, I'm going to write six like I had written one before, right? So six, 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 six. So I'm going to add up, add up the diagonal numbers. Six plus six equal to twelve. Twelve plus six equal to eighteen. Six plus twelve equal to eighteen. Eighteen plus eighteen equal to thirty-six. Okay. Hmm. So just follow the rule of uh, Pascal triangle. All right. Number four. The two circles shown has a center at O. AB is a chord of length fourteen cm. Find the area of the shaded region. So the area of shaded region is the same as uh, the big circle, the big circle minus the small circle. Okay. Okay. Let me show you where is big R and small R. We can. The line that join the center and chord is a vertical line, right? This is a small radius. Point the center that join B will be the radius of the big circle. Okay, right. So it's equal to pi times r square minus small r square. Now I always told my student a classic math Olympic math Olympic question is want that tells you very little but it tells you what you need for the solution for the working so the only clue we have is the only clue we have is Fourteen divided by two is seven, right? So the only clue is a right angle with the longer side is the radius of the big circle. So r square plus seven square equal to big r square, right? Big r square minus r square equal to forty nine. We can happily replace the. Remember, we can happily replace the uh, we can happily replace the r square minus small r square with forty nine, right? So equal to twenty two over seven times forty nine equal to one five four cm square. Last but not least, defining new operation. New operation is something that could be introduced as early as a child is eight years old, nine years old, right? So it brought it broadened their perspective in mathematics to define an operation using the symbol, all right? So, for example, a symbol b equal to a square minus two b. So we are required to find bracket x symbol seven, symbol two three nine. So we work on the bracketed term first, right? So x symbol seven equal to x square minus two times seven. Okay, so which is sixty four minus fourteen equal to fifty. <coughs> now fifty symbol two three nine equal to fifty to the power of two minus two times two three nine. So equal to two thousand five hundred minus five uh, four seven eight. 
I hope you are now thinking of what I'm thinking, right? Equal to two zero two two. That's the end of our revision for paper C two thousand twenty two. All the best to you in the CMO competition. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson.